In this video, I'm going to show you my exact strategy when it comes to using chat GPT and artificial intelligence in general to scale my Shopify stores to the next level. Now, unless you live under a rock, you know that in the recent time period, artificial intelligence, specifically this software called chat GPT has blown up the internet and just consumed e-commerce store owners minds. And it's for a good reason too. Now see, the beauty of this software is that it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. And while you don't necessarily have to use every single thing that it provides for you, you can definitely use it as sort of a starting point to then get your work done without having to rely on other team members, other softwares, etc. Now let's start off with the first way that I plan to use ChatGPT to completely explode my e-commerce brand, take them to the next level. And this is via keyword research. Now, if you have been following me for a while and if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and like this video just for the YouTube algorithm. But you know that I'm more reliant on Google ads. Hence, I'm going to find ways to use chat GPT with Google ads. And the best way to do that is with keyword research. Now, believe it or not, chat GPT can actually give you a list of detailed SEO keywords around a topic you ask it for. So the way that I'm going to be using chat GPT is essentially I'm going to be asking chat GPT to provide me those buying intent or long tail medium tail keywords to then use within my titles within my description. So right here I have chat GPT open on my, on my screen. I'm just going to go ahead and click the button to go onto the actual chat GPT software and begin using it to show you a little demo. So of course you would need to sign up for chat GPT. If you haven't already, I already have an account. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to log into that account. But essentially you want to use these keywords which chat GPT finds for you on the Google Keyword Planner tool. And once you insert these keywords into the Google Keyword Planner tool, then you can begin your keyword research and follow my other videos in terms of SEO. But the reason why I prefer to now use chat GPT for keyword research is because it provides a whole bunch of keywords that people are actually searching for if you write in the correct phrase. So for example, I'm going to show you a little quick demo as to how this can work. So I already have a little phrase I was playing around with earlier before recording this video. And that phrase was do keyword research for the product mole removal pen. Now you can replace this with whatever you like. You can replace this with yellow banana or a white colored table or a yellow colored giraffe or a purple zebra, whatever you sell, whatever you want to do keyword research around. In this case, we want to just do it around the mole removal pen. The picture of that product is right here on your screen. But essentially, it's as simple as that. You can put quotations around it if you're not sure if it will do the task properly. But once you do that, just click this little button and it will tell you if it can do it or not. So it says I'm not able to perform keyword research as my access to the Internet and external services is limited. So what that means is it does not have access directly to the Internet. But even in that case, it did provide certain keywords, which it thinks based on its data that have some sort of search engine optimization to them. And people actually search for them because, again, this is based off of data chat GPT already has. Now, this is just an example of a phrase you can play around with it write more instructions for it. So for example, you can also type in find search engine. So be sure to spell it right. Search engine optimized words related to that product again that you want to be searching for. In this case, it's the mole removal pen. So if we type that in, it should provide similar results or maybe different results. So in this case, it actually gave you an entire definition of what search engine optimization is. And then it gave you actual keywords. So just making the phrase a bit better, improving it from what I had searched originally made it give me all of these keywords. So that's the beauty of chat GPT. I did not have to waste time thinking about what a potential keyword would be that I could search for related to mole removal pen. It was as simple as just going onto my supplier's website. In this case, it was eBay copying their product title and then pasting it here by and giving it accurate instructions to the machine so that it could go ahead and give me some ideal keywords. That's the first way I'm using chat GPT. It's essentially to do keyword research. Now, Moving on to the second way, it's to actually have 
chat GPT write my product descriptions for me. I can't tell you how big of a deal this is because this means I won't have to pay $10, $20, $50 per description. Now, keep in mind that this is still AI artificial intelligence. It's not a real human. So it may lack a little bit of the emotion side of things, but I personally believe based on my experience so far with chat GPT that it can get somewhat a bit closer to writing an actual description as a real human would especially those people that you just hire randomly off of Fiverr. And I'm recommending this way for a lot of my e-commerce clients under my Google Ads agency, your marketing, which if you're currently doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need a little bit of extra help scaling your e-commerce brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and scale your brand to the next level. Because no, ChatGPT cannot take away a real human's influence on Google Ads. So you can't use this to scale via Google, unfortunately. But now that we successfully did keyword research with the first way that we can use ChatGPT, it's now moving on to the product description. So essentially what you wanna do with ChatGPT is you wanna supply your search engine optimized keywords within the phrase that you tell it to do, and then you need to give it a prompt. So for example, we're gonna use some of these phrases we found right here, and we're gonna give it a task so we're going to tell it to write a 50 word description you can change it to 100 200 even 500 words from my experience i noticed chat gpt doesn't necessarily go above 500 words so in this case let's actually change it to 200 just so you get a clear idea and we're going to kind of replace some of the words we found with these ones right here so right here we're going to put that keyword, the first one that chat GPT provided. So we're just going to paste it in and make sure to write it properly. Otherwise it will not be able to use it. So you want to write it with commas and all of that stuff, because that's very, very crucial. So we're going to write spot removal pen right here. And we're just going to kind of go down the list. I'm just going to include a few more, more keywords right here. So this one as well, we want to make sure our keyword, our description is properly search engine optimized and it has all of the necessary keywords. So this is the final keyword we're gonna insert and that's pretty much it. Then you just need to click enter and it will get to work. So now it starts off writing the description and I wanna kinda let you just see how it's writing the description, how powerful this tool is because I've seen no other tool out there that comes to this level of transparency in terms of the description. Now, here's the twist you can actually tell more instructions to chat GPT as to how to word the description properly. You can tell chat GPT to make the description more funny, more interesting, more witty, whatever you want to do. In this case, I didn't necessarily put those words in, but after this last keyword, you just want to put a period and just say, make it interesting, funny, witty, or whatever words you want to include. But here you go while we were talking the description is now complete and of course it does have a few mistakes here and there but the beauty is that it did do most of the work properly so it has those keywords we told it to include like that one right there mole removal laser pen so on and so forth it did a very beautiful job as you can see so this is the second way i'm using chat gpt just to have it write my product descriptions. Again, you don't necessarily need to just go all in and use this description for every product. However, I do kind of recommend that you do use this description in the beginning for the new products you're sourcing, or if you're thinking about doing a brand new product launch, because the real kind of description you should write is after the product has showed demand, after it starts to get your results. That is when I personally believe you should invest in a proper product description writer. But this brings me to the third way I'm using ChatGPT to blow up my e-commerce brands. And that's through writing the product titles for my products. Again, it's very simple. You wanna list the potential product title ideas, either on a Word doc, in a Google doc, or just somewhere else, not here directly, because you do need to write it in a bullet point list. And then you want to take those potential titles that you have written and paste them in chat GPT and then tell it to maybe give you five more titles like those or 10 more titles. Of course, you need to do a little bit of more heavy lifting here in this case because it's not necessarily perfect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example again with this product in mind. So here I have written the phrase, give me five more product titles like this one laser plasma pen mole removal dark spot skin tag etc etc the only reason why it's so big is because i just literally copied this from ebay and i pasted it here so we're gonna give it a bit of a difficult task to chat gpt 
and let's see what it does. So in this case, again, it's not the most perfect, but it does do the job pretty well. It's using all of these colons and all of that stuff, which is kind of expected. You would need to tell it not to use those colons if you do want them not included. And you want to be a bit more in depth with the phrases that you give it. So in this case, I could have told the software not to exceed 50 characters, 100 characters, whatever the product title limit is that you want to stay at. And you could have told the software to include search engine optimized keywords within title, so on and so forth. The list goes on and on. The biggest thing you want to take away from this is you need to be playing around with the phrases in order to get the perfect phrase. And this will take a little bit of playing around because you might not necessarily find the perfect phrase in the first try. So you definitely need to play around a bit with the software and try all of these different phrases until you find something that works. But this brings me to the fourth way I'm using ChatGPT to explode my brands. And that is by having ChatGPT write some of my blog posts. Now, I've been talking a lot about this on my Twitter account that you need to start using more organic post organic content to drive more traffic to your brand, especially if you use Google ads. And here's exactly why. Organic content performs much better when it detects Google search ads, Google shopping ads, display ads, so on and so forth running in the background. Because essentially what you can do is you can use some of the keywords which you're already bidding for within Google search ads or Google shopping within the organic piece of content. So within the blog post, within the YouTube video and so on and so forth. And that will help it rank higher much, much faster. So the way to use chat GPT is to essentially give it an idea of what you want it to write a blog post around. So in this case, we're going to use the product that we already have and kind of make chat GPT write that blog post. So in this case, I said, write a 200 word blog post on why a pole removal laser pen is necessary and how to use it properly make it fun entertaining and witty so essentially you want to keep in mind a blog post needs to be fun interesting and witty and not just some sales letter because that just kind of ruins the whole point of having a good blog post in the first place so we're just going to press enter and let chat gpt do the trick so here you can see how kind of classy it is it started with ladies and gentlemen let's talk about bulls i mean a normal person would not even think about starting a blog post in that manner but we just need to give it time and as you can see it's just going on and on about writing about why a laser removal pen is so important how to use it etc etc you can take this to the next level by giving it the keywords which it kind of found up here in our first search so you again need to be taking more of an initiative with chat gpt because at the end of the day it's not a human it's a robot it needs a little bit of hand holding to really get the ideas right so here you go again while we were talking the blog post is fully complete this is about 200 words you can tell chat gpt to make it 500 so on and so forth but it does the job you can go in and add more things as you deem necessary but very beautifully done a very powerful tool that can number one reduce a lot of your expenses number two take your brand to the next level because a lot of humans that i know that i have worked with in the past don't have the iq or don't have the capability to even do tasks at this level but the fifth and final way that i'm using chat gpt to scale my brand to the next level is to actually have it write my ad copies for me now keep in mind this goes beyond the google ads you can use this for facebook ads as well TikTok ads pinterest the list goes on and on in this case we're going to pretend that we're writing an ad copy specifically a search ad for google and all you need to do to make it work properly is tell it the specific requirements you want it to write off of and how you want it written and you want to test this ad copy against your own ad copy so i recommend you have two different ad groups or ad copies and you write your own first and then have this chat gpt created one and then test it together to really see which one works best because again a full-on reliance on software is not the way to go at least yet so in this case i said write an emotion filled and interesting ad copy that talks about why someone should buy our wooden bets make it funny and entertaining with no more than 90 characters you can talk about wooden beds you can talk about mold removals it's up to you here it says upgrade your sleep game with our wooden beds firm support and the touch of nature so obviously it's talking about a touch of nature which are, talks about emotion it's already a step ahead of what a lot of people would write about and one thing i don't like is that it includes hashtags so you might want to give it instructions of not to do that but we can change wooden beds to one of the keywords that we found up here so 
model removal pin for example let's do just that to give you an example of how this could really work so once we write that in let it do the trick so move all the way to the bottom slay those moles with our mole removal pen quick painless and easy to use i mean let me just give you a second to kind of take that deep within and understand how powerful of an ad copy that is even though it's very simple again chat gpt is going to be taking the e-commerce game to the next level and i'm going to be using it with these five different things again not only for my own e-commerce brands but also my clients e-commerce brands under my google as agency your marketing which if you're again doing 40k or more per month in revenue you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level with google ads go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and scale your brand to the next level but watch any of these two videos right in front of my face to take your journey to the next level